Why are you mad at me? Watch now. <laughs> now you've overcorrected. I, I wasn't here mo- Friday. I'm back. We spent a great weekend together. Yes. True. Playoff mode is here. I know. Let's well, go. Okay. Wilds actually talked to us away from this. Wow. Which was yeah. Crazy. Except Probably for my grandparents little, who we snubbed, and they are not happy about it. <laughs> Sorry, grandma. I was a big hit. Now. Yeah. I told you I'm beloved. But the most important people there. Good. It's first things first. Today. Right no now. wilds. They shouldn't be happy. Oh, here we go. I mean, <laughs> they should be ecstatic. <laughs> Euphoric. <laughs> elated. <laughs> Over the moon. <laughs> nice, it, how, nice however, <laughs> they, was well done, right? Bro? Yes, I won't do it again. Done. I just felt like I needed it for that moment. <laughs> Listen, here's the reality. However thin, and it is very thin, admittedly, the Lakers' path to competing for a championship okay. is it had to start here. Well, I mean, once we knew they were locked into the play-in line, the, in my opinion – the two things that needed to happen was were get out of the 9-10 disaster zone area, yeah. check, and, and I know this is controversial to believe, but I adamantly believe it, get Denver as early as possible. <clears throat> and that is not because Denver is a better matchup than other teams would be. It's not because the Lakers are better than Denver. But if it is because we are to assume in order to make the NBA Finals, they're going to have to go through the Denver Nuggets, the only chance they have is now. It's a reasonable take. Rested, healthy, LeBron, if we can show you, rolling. LeBron's the last he's seven, playing, he's been right, playing yeah. out of his mind. The, t- the only game they lost was when AD couldn't play because of the, I think it was a concussion. I don't know if they called it that, but yeah. concussion symptoms and the Warriors had the greatest shooting night in NBA history. And so I've not, it really to me, Brew, is about, if you're a Lakers fan, are you happy, is about what your goal is. Is your goal the longest possible time in the playoffs or is your goal the best chance of winning the championship because right now i don't think those two things are aligned Mm -hmm. if your goal is the longest possible time in the playoffs then you want to be on the other side of the bracket is denver and just like last year maybe see them in the conference finals when you're exhausted and old and get swept if your goal is you know what what if we could win it with four days between the play-in and game one or five days and then multiple days between every early game, which is only the case in, in round one, I think is perfect. I think this is exactly what the Lakers fans should have hoped for, and they got it wow. if they win tomorrow night. I, I'm, yeah. Going, yeah. I'm going to address that. I know we got the next yeah. question. We're going to talk about the Denver-Lakers yeah. matchup, so I'll address what you said then. As far as answering the question, it's all about your perspective. I mean, because when you look at the fact that just a few days ago they were the 10th seed and looking at playing Golden State and then maybe Phoenix (laughs) just to get to the play out there on the road both times, then, yeah, this makes you feel good because they've – Owned New Orleans, right? Three, I think they're three and one. Are they three yeah, and one three against and one. them this year? Mm-hmm. Obviously, they they you know played well against them uh, yesterday. And you mentioned LeBron, how well he's playing. One thing I like too, at times he was guarding Zion. Yeah. So even just taking on like a big game, we need this win. Give me Zion, and he did a good job on him. Yep. And so yeah, you're excited if you're the Lakers, um, considering all the other options to be in this scenario, a lot of people, Nick, are talking about they should lose and try to get to the eighth seed. Obviously, they've owned Oklahoma City, beating them three straight times, three out of four this year. The The problem – no, I am totally against that. Because you can't play around like that. Because then you get probably Golden State or Sacramento. Or Sacramento, who's who's owned against you. Yeah, in a a one and done, you know, you definitely don't want that. So – I think this is a good case scenario. I don't agree, and I think we're going to get to that. I don't agree, though, with your take about them playing Denver now. But so just to stay on the if they lose, if they, you know, I everyone at this table agrees that they should, of course, do everything they can to win tomorrow night, even though it means playing Denver. Silly Whether you think, but what, so we all agree on that, but this can also be true. Because of how the bracket fell, a loss last or tomorrow night won't feel 
devastating to most. It might to no. me because I think you want to get Denver early, but to the rest of you know people rooting for the Lakers or rooting for LeBron or whomever, it will be like, okay, the season will come down to a game which is terrifying, but then after that, then you would be on the opposite oh, side yeah. of Denver, you and you it, exactly, absolutely. and you get OKC. But then it opens up the door to your season being over in 72 hours. Quickly, Brew, just on the Pelicans, Zion, we're in year five, never been to the playoffs, played 70 games this year, got cooked up by LeBron uh, yeah. last game. But I think there's a little bit of like, all right, Ingram's missed 12 games, he was held to Ingram at 13, Zion had 12. Do you think this is sort of a moment? For Zion against the Lakers. No. 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 <laughs> no. I mean, the, 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 we've – look, honestly, we were happy, I, and I think I speak for a lot of people, we're happy he played a full season. Oh, my God. Yeah. No. I'm, no. We, That's we're where at, the bar is on the number one pick in the – Yes. No, and he, Before and, and Caitlin he Clark, well. it was Zion. It's like it's, yeah, but that's Caitlin over. Clark. That's over. I'm serious. So we're no, happy no. that he played. He's oh, always healthy. I'm baby steps. And he played. Baby steps has been five years. Well, yeah, but, but he, he hasn't been healthy. Well, now he is. And look, he yeah. played well. And he's a nice – he handles the ball. You, you know, get into the hole at hey. will. My God. Uh, I mean, he played well, but no. 70 game next year we'll talk about next. winning a series yeah. get in the playoffs he can't play a playoff game he just lost they could have gone to the six just lost oh, make the playoffs sure. make the playoffs beat lebron i mean oh. I, I but if they they're not going to beat the lakers you don't and think, i don't think no, they're gonna, last, you think, think they're, they're going to beat the lakers i think they're going to win tomorrow Oh. I think they're going to win. See, so How? I mean, they haven't. I think it's a tough matchup. For them. I just think and they're working so, in Ingram. And, like, well, that, that's the well, thing. I think that, that's what they and did. And the, I mean, yesterday they could have been the six if they win, which would be super. Them being New Orleans, super useful for them. And that was not. I understand it was Master Sunday. There's a lot going on. Maybe people weren't there. A lot thirty game or thirty teams playing yeah. yesterday. That game was an annihilation from day one. Very quick. Opening tip. Yeah. Uh, but, but don't you think it's an Ingram thing? No, I listen, I think that if you're New Orleans or Minnesota, this whole incorporating your second best player right before the postseason yeah. could be a problem. But I do want to say real quick before we move on, Brew, I will never again underestimate the power of the Bud List. I put Wilds on the Bud List demanding he let the Tiger out more oh, often. Tiger. I mean, the first segment of Monday's show. <laughs> well, you guys are just like, yeah, well, once they win. Well, like, there good. is a game. There like, well, you go, Once Wilds. game's four, it, you what know, go you back to L.A. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, oh, really. Good. You know what I want, bro? <laughs> 15 points. <laughs> okay, well, listen. He He'll a, give you 15. 20 points. Tomorrow. Here. Tatum, there, he's going to lose to LeBron James, and you're going to kill him for that? Hey, LeBron James was as old as me. <laughs> yeah, I'm That's going true. to. Oh, Paul God. George had his moment against LeBron. Tatum, young Tatum, had his moment against LeBron. In losses. Well, have right. a moment in win. <laughs> and, and some people have uh, George in the GOAT conversation. Yeah, exactly. Right. Right. Like yeah, in the league. I mean, come, come on. on. All right. Look. If the Lake Show do get by the Frisky Pels, which is no guarantee, They'll head to Denver in a scenario that Nick once proclaimed was their best case scenario. Now they've lost eight games in a row against Denver and six in a row since Darvin Ham inferred oh, Jesus, he had man. seen something in the fourth <laughs> quarter of game one of the Western Conference Finals he did. and told the world we'll be okay. Trust me. <laughs> six, six losses <laughs> since then. Uh, Brew, what chances do the Lakers have to take out Denver? I mean, no chance other than never say never. Oh, okay. Anything wow. is possible. See, I like this. No, there, there's no. I mean, uh, look, the greatness of LeBron and AD. I'm doing my All NBA teams. They're both on the top three. You know, a, a third, second, and third team All NBA. I'll share. I'll keep it a secret cool. which one's second, which one's third. Oh, okay. But there, there are great players, obviously. But there's really not much other than if you just say, you know, LeBron. This is maybe last hurrah. Like last best chance to win a championship or get there, he's going to take it over. But he played well last year, and they got swept. Yeah, and so. he had a LeBron game, and they couldn't. It oh, still the, wasn't in game enough. four. Yeah, game four. And, and it wasn't yeah. enough. And so there's really no realistic, logical basketball reason that to pick correct. them. Here's why I disagree with your theory, Nick. Yeah. Because I get what you're saying, but I think the uh, Nuggets have one weakness. And I'm not, it's not their depth to me or lack of depth. It's the possibility of Jamal, of getting, Jamal getting Murray getting hurt. Okay, that's true. No, no because he true. has – they cannot win the championship. They cannot win the West if without he, Jamal that's Murray. That's correct. I mean, so. as great as Jokic is, Jamal Murray is critical. He always plays better in the playoffs, significantly so. better. And they must have – and my thing is this, Nick, he's back, and he's been hot 
24 points a game in like 25 minutes a game since he came back from injury. Last five or six games, I think it's five games, he's, he's shooting it like 47% from three, well over 50 overall. And – and obviously, we don't want to see anybody no, but get hurt. It's, it, but I think the chances – It's on the table. Because he's not been able to make it through all the postseasons. Mm. Right. And so, if he were to get hurt, well, then that, it's probably later in the playoffs yeah. versus right yeah. away. And that's yeah. why I, I don't I, agree with that. No, so that – by the way, that is, that is almost assuredly correct. I am operating from the unrealistic place, but the place that I think we almost always do these predictions of – Everyone's as healthy as they are right health. now. Okay. You know, and so that's going to stay yeah, healthy. He okay. stays healthy. So you said there's no basketball reasons. Well, he said it. So, no, he and you, and then you, was like, yeah, you he not. was an amen from the choir. <laughs> yeah. So, or, uh, so <laughs> I would like to just posit a few questions sure. to Mr. Denver Nugget. You know, for, you know, Eight for his, in a row. Uh, no, but, but you've been Mr. Eight Denver Nugget all year. Yeah. On your lightly followed Twitter account, you have oh, written oh dozens God. of times, no one's beating Denver in a seven-game series. Wild. So you've been, I know you've been staying up late watching these games because you send that tweet the moment the game ends, and then yeah. I think you pass out immediately Sometimes after. it's a bit of a burden. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> he just wants to send the tweet. <laughs> if you were to rank Denver by how they've been playing by month, where do you think this last month of basketball was? Well. They had the one well, seed. they won they, four their last I, five. They, they had the one seed on the line against a Spurs team that was not even playing two of its five best players. They don't have a lot of great players. Well, They're up 17 in the fourth quarter, yeah. and they lost that game. The, in a game with real implications mm -hmm. where the Nuggets are playing everyone, slight, slight, hmm, concern. No, I, can, I, can Go I, ahead. Here's the point. Yeah. I liked it. Why? You know what? I didn't like it. Oh. I loved it. Oh, oh now we're all, uh, why? I, Tell it us. reminds it's a Welcome, it's wake up call. A little That's wake up call. Doing. Okay, maybe. Mike Malone was like, guess what? We have to play defense and we have to rebound. I think they gave up eight offensive rebounds yeah. in the fourth quarter. So, like are, guess what? Any team can beat you. No, that team with a star yeah. can come down and take over. And they took the foot off their gas, like, ah, you know, yeah. it's the Spurs. No. And that so that and they might, lost it. And I I I think ahead. it was well, kind of good. And also, so. Nick, depending on how far you want to go back, last yeah. month, last two months, they have the best record in the league since the All-Star. Yeah. Them and Boston, 21-6. and six. And the games Murray's played, they're 16-3. and three. That's a higher win percentage than even Boston, which has been running the, through the league. So they've been actually playing no, great I, I basketball. I agree, I agree with that. Entire, they, 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 and, but, and the there. losses, you can be like, yeah, one was in overtime to Phoenix. But this was Phoenix a bad one. Be, but this was so a bad, bad one was because – they what was on the line, which right. was the one seed, which I think mattered to them. But the other, I'm going to give you one other basketball reason, and this is why I think it is critical that if the Lakers have any chance of beating Denver, that it has to happen now. Brew, what did you call this series last year? A close sweep. A close sweep. And it was. So, and it, okay, so I don't I've know heard if others that, call it a gentleman uh, sweep, even no, though No, gentleman like sweep is fine. <laughs> no, I know. They say because yeah. it was so close. Okay, so here's. I'm just like, they so, don't want to give me my prize. What And you, and you, I think, correctly, if I'm remembering right, identified when we were talking about the games last year that it appeared at the end of these games, LeBron was out of gas. And the numbers support that. Yep. If we can show you LeBron last year, he's rolling. All systems go quarters one through three and was spent quarters in fourth quarter. Okay. What's the other story of LeBron last season? His worst three-point shooting year in the regular season in 15 years and in the playoffs, second worst of his career. If you yeah. remember, you were, Wilds was saying, oh, was give same. him the Ben Simmons treatment. Yeah, right. it was, What's it was like the, one for 20. Right. What, one for it, right. I'm not saying he's going to keep it up necessarily, but what's the story of LeBron this year? His best three-point shooting year. And I'm going to add one other point. Jamal Murray is a great postseason performer. We all know that. What he did in those conference finals, and we can show it to you, is aberrant even by his standards. Every other series of his career, he's awesome. 24, 5, and 6 on those splits. Last year, he had the best series of his career. So the point I'm making is this. LeBron... What, they were close good games until the Lakers' best player wore down in the fourth quarter. I don't think he's as likely to wear down when it's not every other day like it is in the conference finals, and it's not after two rounds of playoffs, and he's good not argument. nursing a 
Bad foot. Bad whatever foot, it whatever it was. He couldn't hit a three, mm -hmm. and Jamal Murray played the series of his life. Now, the counterpoint, obviously, is, yeah, and so maybe if that's right, it'll be 4-1 this time or 4-2 this time. I get that. But I, I think there are a lot of factors that if, if this ends up being the matchup, you could see it go very similarly as last year. But if LeBron is a, just a touch fresher and Jamal Murray is just a touch less incandescent, it might be. those well, games Murray, turn. Murray, though, has had a lot of great series. Oh, his numbers are down both regular games. season and playoffs because yeah. early in his career, the numbers weren't as right. prolific. I'll give you this, though, as a support for what you said about LeBron. Because he's been cold this month from three. I think he's like 31% or something like that late. Regression. Don't you, well, he's 41% for the season. But, right. But what you see is, and I think this is why he's shooting such a high percentage, and I think it's wise of LeBron, he is attacking the rim relentlessly. He's shooting like three three-pointers this month a game. That's low, and it was four and a half the last month in, in, May, in March. So he's dialing down the three-pointers and attacking the rim more, which is what I think he should and, do. And, and Denver doesn't shoot a lot of threes. They're actually last in the league in three-point attempts. Yep. The Lakers are sec third to last. So the fact that if LeBron's not draining a ton of threes, that's okay because Denver's not going to be draining and, a ton of threes yep. either, and you, he should keep attacking the rim. Hey Josh, you know what I'd like to do? Take Nick's graphic and let's look at – the Denver LA splits, and I wonder if it's less uh, just LeBron wearing down and more of the altitude. Ooh, no, but that the, altitude. No, it was the, once you're in that thin no, mountain it air. Was, it was, it, and but the well, other thing, Denver, and he has to, he had to play so well and hard to just stay, keep them near the Nuggets. And, yep. and, and the to Nuggets get are great fourth quarter And the, 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 the one thing, and I'm not the, the injuries, it's part of sports, I get it. But the one place where LeBron's foot injury last playoffs really showed up is it seemed like he only had three or four hard drives to the basket in him a game yep. until that game right. four against Denver when he just you know he emptied the clip because yep. mm -hmm. it's probably the last game of the year. The last month, man, he is relentlessly – it feels like it's the healthiest he has been going into a postseason since the championship year. That's you all know, I'm saying. Even though I think the Pelicans are going to win, you convince me the Lakers can get a game. Okay. okay, got it. I, 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 I don't think it will be a sweep this year. Yeah, there we go. Might even get two. Wow. Oh, well, if you can get two, you can Probably get three. And if you can crazy. get three, it comes <laughs> down to a game seven. Anything can happen. You're here getting the, there, bro. Here are the odds <laughs> to win the West. Denver at one. Then it's the uh, Thunder and the Clippers tied at two. Mavs, Suns, Wolves. Lake Show, Pelicans, Warriors, and then Sacktown. Way far down there. Uh, who's the most dangerous threat to the champs, bro? Look, it's all about the matchups. I mean, obviously, Denver is a team you feel like can work through any of these ma challenge, matchup challenges. But my team, we know I picked the Clippers to get to the conference finals, and we're going to talk about them a little later. But if they're healthy, I like the Clippers. We if know. they're healthy, we're, all right? But we'll talk dogs. about yeah, that. All right. <laughs> but I'm going to say, and I think the Lakers, it, look, if the Lakers somehow were to beat Denver, they immediately become, I don't think, just the Western Conference favorite, I think the league favorite, because I think they would beat Boston. Wow. Yes. Yeah. Boston? Boston. I'm, I'm not wow. – look, I picked Boston That's in the East. That's a great take. If they, if they get – well, I don't no. think they're getting them, beating Denver, but if they do, you don't think people are going to be saying they're going to win it? Well, if they beat I'll Denver – I'll tell you this much, I will be. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, if they is, beat Denver, and yeah. I just think – I think they will handle ball. I really yeah. do. Okay. I, I I like Boston in the East. And I, I think, what are they, one and one against Boston this year? Yeah, the, I think. The, but, LeBron, but, AD, I think. That, but the best, man, I'm going to go with Minnesota because I think they, and, and they're going to have their hands full with Phoenix. Yeah. So I'm just saying, though, a one-on-one -on -one yeah. matchup of in course. the series, I think Minnesota with their size and, you know, not just Carl Anthony Towns and, and Gobert. Nas Reed has played great when Gobert was out. You got that one incredible individual superstar that can just take over a series and Anthony Edwards. And then you've got some vets like well coached and they're a great defensive team. So in a one-on-one -on -one series, I would say Minnesota is my toughest. Do you, okay. do you have an answer? Or... I, I'm, I'm a little bit worried about the Suns. Oh, this a little just bit beat them two there is some three. recency, a yeah. part of that and the superstar factor. Yeah, Go here's ahead. the graphic of teams that have done well against Denver. The frisky magic. I was on them or you know Rockets like somehow. Two and oh. Uh Thunder play well. The Rockets, Chingoon of course going up against, you know, there's a common denominator in four of the five. Can you pick it out? 
Tall people? <laughs> what, what is it? Young. Oh, young, young and athletic. Young and fast. I mean, that, yeah, the Denver's not, like, incredibly athletic. So, so this graphic make – and the fact that you're using this graphic to support Phoenix, Phoenix not the does mean, listen, good people of Oklahoma City, I apologize that this show unintentionally keeps really disrespecting your team. Like, by the we way, because they're not my answer. They're not yeah. my answer either. We, we we had a whole MVP conversation last week, and we – because Brew and I agree on this, that it was a Luka Jokic conversation, didn't even include SGA. The Oklahoma City is 3-1 and one against Denver and is the only team that would have home court advantage against them True. in the conference, and none of us are going to say them. Because Brew went experience. Minnesota – No, I get it. Brew Youngest went Minnesota. To beat you went seat. Phoenix, and I'm going with the right answer, which is Dallas. Dallas mm. – is 15 and 2 in its last 17. If we throw out the last two games of the year, they sat everybody. Like they, right. the, the games that mattered, they were that. And if there is any player in the league that for a series can match Nikola Jokic, it's Luka. The, and we can show the, their career playoff numbers. Like, you know, it's kind of horse of a different color. I don't think that's what it, the phrase is at all. But the point <laughs> is, um, they both have. Historic levels of impact yeah. in the postseason. They are both already, in my opinion, great postseason players. I know Luka doesn't have the hardware to show that yet, but be, only Jordan has ever averaged more points per game in a postseason. And so, if you have Luke, if Luka could play Jokic to a draw, you know Kyrie, Kyrie Murray, could play yep. Murray to a draw. And now yeah. all of a sudden, you know, it's like Michael we've Porter, got Junior you know we've got Aaron Derek Gordon. Lively and a pod versus a podcaster. You've got oh, a lot of on. things going on. The like, uh, I mean, what? I'm, well, listen, man, put yourself out there. Hey, they they got to face saying, the Clippers in the first. The, well, that's, yeah. that's, that's the oh, problem. That's what we're going to talk but about. But I, I do like Dallas. <laughs> Bruce wanted MVP. to say Dallas, but he has to have trapped, them losing in round one. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get more from the show and to check out clips from other shows on FS1.